All right, so wash day is so important when you have natural hair, especially when you're trying to retain length. So these are my top five things that I do to retain length and wash my hair as quickly as possible. So the first thing you want to do is pre-poo. So I am using an actual pre-poo. Um, this is by African Pride. Their new line is pretty good, actually, if you want to check it out. I got it in my curl box. But this pre-poo is pretty good. So for most pre-poos, you leave it on from 5 to 20 minutes, depending on how tangled your hair is. Hair is. I usually leave mine on for the maximum amount of time, which is about... 20 minutes sometimes I will say I go to 30 but when you put that pre poo in your hair you know almost immediately that it's working because it kind of works like a conditioner work and you can always pre poo with regular conditioner as well um, but it kind of gives you that detangling slip as well as like um, you'll see your curls kind of getting moisturized and just looking really good so after you have done your entire head then you want to go ahead and co-wash or shampoo your hair. Um, I am co-washing in this video. I only shampoo about every other week. So this is just some co-wash I got from, well, it's regular conditioner that I got from the dollar store. It's the VO5. Um, I think it's like Tropical Sunrise or something. It smelled good, which is why I bought it because I was out of conditioner. And then after you have washed your hair, you want to go ahead and deep condition. So I am deep conditioning with the main choices, um, it's the Carrot Mash Treatment. And I'll have all the product names below in the description box. But I'm deep conditioning with this as well as with a little bit of an oil mix I put together. The oil has castor oil in it as well as some wild hair growth oil. And a little bit of, um, I have forgotten the name. What is it? It's not wild hair growth oil. It's another one, do grow hair oil. So I like to deep condition with both a conditioner and an oil. And you can use regular conditioner or specifically a deep conditioner um, because I feel that this really helps with locking in moisture as well as it really gives your hair, really, it makes it really, really soft and it makes it feel really, really good, especially once you've deep conditioned it. So I actually got this African Pride Soft Bonnet um, attachment for your hair dryer in my curl box so I attach it to my my blow dryer and I put it on high for about five minutes and then 15 minutes on low to deep condition my hair just so it can soak in some of that moisturization and it feels really good afterwards it gets really hot under there it works just like the hard bonnet but it is much more affordable so shout out to the soft bonnets um but I go ahead and do it and as you can see I have a lot less tangles so after I rinse everything out um, and I kind of leave a little bit in my hair that is totally up to you I usually leave a lot of rinse out things in my hair um, for prolonged periods of time because it doesn't really hurt your hair but that's personal preference personal choice but I like to go through and oil my scalp as well as use the main choice split and mender from the um, ancient Egyptian line. I find that it really helps with split ends and it really kind of helps me avoid getting those fairy knots at the end of my hair as well as getting a lot of tangles at the end of my hair. Of course, keeping your hair trimmed helps as well, but it's also very important to do some kind of treatment for it. Um, and the struggle was really real trying to get that stuff open after I had washed my hair, but I finally got it open and got that going. I was just really overall struggling. It was a struggle wash day. But wash day does not take me that long. It usually takes me about, I would say, if you go from pre-poo all the way through to finishing washing my hair and styling it, it takes me at the most an hour and a half. Um, and after I wash my hair, I literally style it in a wash and go, which I will have that video up as well as linked in the description box if you guys are interested in achieving a really simple wash and go. I literally use two products to achieve that wash and go. It's a pretty cool video, it's pretty quick. It's like a really super fast wash and go. And it looks really, really good. Um, but overall, I think that this wash day helps really lock in that moisture and help you retain length and take care of the oldest part of your hair. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video as well as liked it. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I hope that you all have an amazing day.